Hello, we are a group of meteorology students from Aalborg University. For our second semester, we are writing a project on quantified self, sleep and mental alertness. The term quantified self means to track your own actions, intake and so forth during the day. The reason behind doing this is often for the intent of self-improvement. With modern day technology, this is often done through automatic tracking by a smartphone or a wristband. This is, however, not the case with this project, since we have been given the constraint of using active user input and motivation. After extensive brainstorming and research, we found that the majority of people suffering from sleep deprivation are young adults and particularly university students. Studies show that up to 70% of students report of being sleep deprived and 50% report daytime tiredness. Furthermore, University students are under constant academic pressure to perform at lectures and exams and if they fail, this could have severe impact on their future. Because of that, we have chosen to focus on the target group university students and the sleep versus attention. Based on this, we formulated the problem formulation, what will make university students that live alone quantify their attention in relation to their sleep. In the user needs and context study, we mainly use two methods in order to acquire information. At the recruitment of our participants, we ask them to fill out a diary every morning for the next six days, where they would log how they slept and the duration of their sleep. The diary also consisted of several questions regarding the user's sleep, sleeping habits, routines and alertness. In order to get as detailed qualitative data as possible, we also conducted semi-structured in-context interviews. In these interviews, the interviewer would be able to ask detailed questions and observe the participants' context and behaviour. We ended up with four valid interviews. The first participant lived a very active lifestyle. Among all of our other participants, she was the only one who actively quantified herself, which she mainly did in relation to her fitness activities. While conducting the interview with the second participant, she told us that she takes midday naps every day and occasionally extends her bedtime if she's watching TV. The third participant surprisingly stated that after he had consumed his dinner, he felt too relaxed to be able to sleep. When asked about his evening routine, he told us that he falls asleep while watching TV most nights. The fourth participant differed from the other participants in his daily structure. This came to show in the data retrieved from the diary study in that his rating of how rested he felt was mostly very positive. Almost all of the participants used their smartphone as an alarm clock, which helped us decide on which platform to create our solution on later. From our background research and use needs in context study, we were able to iterate upon our initial problem formulation and create the following. How can a mobile application be designed to aid and motivate university students in tracking their sleep habits and daily reaction times in order to understand how their sleep affects their mental alertness? From this final problem formulation, we created our success criteria. And our minimum implementation requirements. In the design phase, we use the design funnel to rapidly create a number of initial designs for our application. Each of these were heuristically evaluated and once we had two main ideas, we started our lo-fi prototyping. The lo-fi prototype was evaluated by three participants using the Think Aloud protocol in order for us to discover the user's mental model. With the new feedback from the users, we then iterated upon the designs in order to create a mid-fi prototype. The MidFi prototype ran on a computer and had some limited functionality like clickable buttons. We tested the MidFi like we tested the LoFi prototype, but this time with five participants. Okay, so now we've made our solution and I'd like to walk you through it. So our app is called Sleep Attention and here we have the overall overview of the statistics where you can see your average time slept and your last PPT score. And the first button here, you have the sleep, where you can, say, uh, you can set the alarm and start logging. And when you press the up, it will stop logging and save it all to the uh, database. Our next button, you have the attention test, where you're able to take the PVT. And when you stop, once you're finished with the PVT, it will take the average score and save this to the uh, database as well. And the last button, you have the statistics. 
This is where you're able to see the sleep logs and your attention score correlated with each other. Where you can see here, the amount of hours slept matches quite nicely with the PVT score. And this is overall our finished solution. For evaluating our final prototype, we chose to do a 7-day diary study, followed up by a cooperative evaluation and a semi-structured debrief interview. We started out canvassing the two campuses in Olbo in order to find testers. We would give them a vague description of the study and help them install a modified version of our application. In our diary study, the participants would have to note down when they went to bed, when they woke up, how rested they felt and take a custom PVT for each day of the study. In the interview, they would then be equipped with the full application with their own data from the diary study. All of the participants in our study were university students in their 20s. We initially had 11 participants, which was a fine number for our study, but sadly, due to different unforeseen circumstances, we ended up with only having four reliable interviews, which we could include in our evaluation. Our results varied a lot from participant to participant. For example, some of them were able to quickly interpret the graphs which we showed them while others needed more time. But all of them were able to see a correlation between their own sleep and their attention levels.